guys since, well, the last time I saw you. The band's been through a lot of changes. I want to talk about some of those. Um, first off, Matt. Matt brings a certain flair to the band. He brings a lot of excitement and um, it's just total commitment and passion. And you guys already obviously had your own your own songs written and done. Was it hard for you, Matt, to come in and, and pick up where they had left off? I don't know. I was in the studio with them two days a week. And then on top of it, I mean, I was fortunate to have my own home studio. And, you know, I was in there two days a week and, yeah, to, I mean, come into an opportunity to have a full album given to me, you know, it was a good goal, but, yeah, I put in a lot of work, you know. Last summer, I mean, that was the whole summer I spent just drumming. And you've had some difficulties. I mean, you've had injuries that might throw you a little bit off track, but you've come back from that, and uh, hopefully we're going to see that in the coming week. Uh, you guys have a show coming up. It's been a while since you last played, hasn't it? Uh, it's been a couple months now. Our last show was back in April at the Red Room. So, and I mean, at the time, you know, we had obviously gone through a changeover and, you know, the staff per se with having a new guitar player coming in. So, yeah, it's been a couple months, but, you know, we're ready. And, you know, as well, we're ready to go away this summer. So we plan on giving a great show. And this is like your last hurrah, let's say, in Vancouver. Um, so that's obviously the kickoff to a tour? Yeah, it's a total... It's our little send-off. We're doing uh, Calgary and Edmonton in July, so like about a month later. But uh, yeah, super, super excited for that. What made you guys want to get this together right now, this time in your lives? Well, we figure if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it, right? So it, we had to, had time was flying by. We haven't been back to Alberta since in the days of Cush, which uh, was like over three years ago. We haven't gone anywhere. So that's, you know, if you're not going to, go out and spread your wings then what's the point right so a few years ago a few new members now what can your fans expect to see from you guys uh crazy intense show <laughs> uh awesome music i mean we really we don't just like uh rubber stamp the music out we we spend a lot of time with it and um you know, it, it means a lot to people. So it's just it's just been a total progression of everything. And now it's just coming to a head and, and we're just right there, just right there. <laughs> and will you guys play old and new songs? Yeah, absolutely. Um, some of the stuff on our, on our uh, debut album uh, is from the older Kush days and um, some of it is from the newer one left alive days and uh and we're constantly ready left alive you know per se i mean we've been writing since last uh, september october and there's a lot of stuff that you know we're still adding to at this time that you know just keeps coming back so the old's there the new's there when it comes to doing the writing um you started off with kush now you're with all these new guys does it ever get a little bit hectic for you where you're like no these are my ideas let me do this well it's funny um you know, there's different ways to, to the writing process, and basically the way we write is we come up with wicked riffs, and then it's my job to write around them, so. <laughs> which isn't always great for me, because to do some of those riffs justice is kind of a nightmare. So, you know, you want to, you want to do what you can to make it the best it can possibly be. So in the future, we'll probably be trying to write riffs around my vocals so we'll see right <laughs> our writing process you know it's pretty emotional i mean we kind of have a closed door policy we're almost like a, a musical mafia you know when everyone's going in there and it's just like you're putting everything into what you're doing you know it's very you know we have a brotherhood per se and it gets really emotional you know Intense. you know we're laughing we're crying sometimes we're fighting you know but i mean what we've come out yeah, I figured as much, yeah. <laughs> hey, these guys are hard on me, you know. My first couple of months with the band, I mean, you know, he was constantly, he just, you know, he rode me all summer. But I mean, you know, now where I came into the band and they gave me a big opportunity and where I was at skill-wise then to now, I mean, it's a huge difference in my playing. And I've, I've always said to Lowell and I've said to the other guys, if I walked away from this tomorrow, you know, I've always got that, that where I was as a drummer then and where I am now, so... Well, that and he had to initiate you, right? Oh, of course. Oh, very much so. Yeah, we so. took him in the back alley after the first show, and I, I, I won't, I'll leave it at that, right? <laughs> we've, all heard the, we've all heard the Jason Newstead stories from Metallica, yeah. Do you guys have set dates for your tour? 
We do. Yeah, uh, June 10th in Calgary and June 11th in Edmonton. So, uh, and then we're probably doing something in August, which is still going to be out of the outskirts, but in, but in BC. So uh, we'll probably be back in Vancouver in the fall or uh, early winter, one or the other. We'll see. Hopefully, we look forward to it. Yeah. Hopefully we're looking at, you know, a single release. And yeah, we're at, what, the Blind Beggar in Calgary and then at the Bourbon Room in, El in Edmonton. So it's going to be fun. Cool. Well, all the best, guys. I have one more question for you. Sure. You already know what it is. I don't know if you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I try to ask each of my guests if they will show me their socks. I want to know what your socks say about you. They're totally boring Walmart tube socks, you know, because... Do they both match? I'm still... An, uh, yeah, they actually do. I'm still a starving artist, so, you know, I still <laughs> I still shop at Walmart. That's okay, that's a good story. But I've seen your socks and they're off the hook. Thank you. I try. <laughs> <laughs> and yours? Of course. And I, did, I actually didn't mean to today, but I've been up, you know, really early. So I, I actually today, you'll, you'll probably respect me for it. I've got nice. a thick one. Yeah and a thin one oh, so i didn't i happen to not be ma i happen to not be matching today so and it wasn't on purpose <laughs> i can i can do the mismatching that's my thing oh, okay. but i can't do like not the same thickness that would drive me nuts all day they're the same socks so h and m you know but i've always just i wear wild socks and that's why it was funny when i saw you had such a sock addiction so. that's awesome i like it <laughs> thanks so much guys i really okay, appreciate awesome. it we appreciate it thank, thank you, you.